One more. Invulnerable to pyro and animal. Cut use pyro, cut use animal. Wait, is this a story? Oh! Is this a story quest? I think I accidentally... went to a story quest. Oops. <laughs> is this Hu Tao eh? Ni Huta story quest eh? <laughs> Oops, place. accidentally you went in. <laughs> Thank you for the share, Pikachu. And then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of. Boom. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> I was expecting. Ah, quick, do something! Paimon's intuition says that anyone we run into here is going to be far from normal. If he gets us, he's gonna eat Paimon for sure. This has to be Hutao's. Who are you? Uh. Traveler, are you from funeral the other undertaker, Pro most likely. Um, yeah, it has to be. No, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. Yeah, funeral. No That's matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Whew. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. But you're kind of terrifying. Huh? <laughs> I am not! Paimon's super friendly looking! Don't be afraid. We come in peace! Uh, gods protect me! <laughs> no, no, no! Stop freaking out and stand still! Relax! Relax? Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't! Don't touch me! Hey! I already <laughs> said nothing's gonna happen! Yeah, uh, it's a story quest. It has to be. Was it something Paimon said? Well, I'm not here for the story. I still have a 6 minute timer. timer. <laughs> Let me finish the timer. What? 2 minutes left. I don't think I can even fight in 2 minutes. Alamak. Cutscene! <laughs> Utau! <laughs> Damn it! Director! Director! Allah. After me. I was like, wait no. a minute. I'm, I'm fa uh, bounty Don't failure leader. Don't excited. These are clients, <laughs> not ghosts. Exactly! God we damn it. we're not ghosts. Why would you calm down and let us explain? Yeah, this is gonna be in YouTube. Although Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. Uh, forget the bounty lah. A for now. Trade to be in I'll restart and you Longsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, Why does it have I'd to be, be glad to hear it? Why do you <laughs> Yeah. If we were looking for Longsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this Aye. is hardly the place we would come to. Ah, oh, but you <laughs> The Ruin Hunter is right there. In the business sense, everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. Um, Utao? Do you see the Ruin Hunter right behind you? <laughs> Sooner or later. Well, that's dark. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor The Ruin the Hunter is just right there. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure to pick the right date. Pro tip, 
It is a living nightmare trying to get flowers. Surprise! The real hunter did attack us. <sighs> or is he attacking? Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. <sighs> I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Whoa! Slow down. <laughs> That's uh, you. There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. Allow me to explain. Who is she? A uh, Hu Tao. <laughs> We'd heard that there had been some supernatural activity at Wu Wang Hill. Yeah, this is actually Hu Tao's uh, story quest. The funeral ceremony. It went very I mean, smoothly. I shouldn't have unlocked the story yet. <laughs> According to the director, <laughs> I should let it shouldn't be, be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, Wu Wang Hill Funeral. What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wu Wang Hill. You being here is not normal. Well, I'm actually here to do a bounty. That's why I'm here, and the bounty is right behind you. If, you, uh, if you're wondering. Maybe your understanding of normal. I'm is here on it. Like no, I'm here on a bounty actually. <laughs> God damn it. Adventure. <laughs> you must hail from the adventure uh. guild. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Wood, to be precise. Wood? What do you mean? That's just how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, Wicker, and marble. Bamboo, wood, the higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Well, don't look uh -huh. so shocked. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. <laughs> oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. Why send it for me? Hmm. Let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. Oh. This seems like something right up my alley. <gasps> I can even inquire with like the ones who no longer who speak mean? for you. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? <laughs> assistants. This feels like Mona again. Long Sun Funeral Parlor. I got the achievement. The ones who no longer speak. Oh. Did she mean talking to the dead? Uh, she's a weird one. Okay, wait. I want to know where am I supposed to go after this? Adventure skill. Okay, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Okay, guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I want to continue another story quest and yeah as you saw I accidentally did uh, a bit of the uh, Huta story quest eh, by accident and while I was doing a bounty uh, <laughs> it was actually the same place with the story quest so I already done a bit of it eh. but yeah so let's continue I'll finish it in this video also so I was supposed to go to the adventure skill I might as well ah. Um, that's a different event. <laughs> Ugh, you again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. <laughs> Since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first. 
Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, <laughs> together with your first order. But that's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions Imagine in Liyue. Now, we do uh, charge a slight premium coffee. for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but, but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little no, more. That's not but our <laughs> offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurer safe in the first place. <laughs> it's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Oh, wait, hold on. What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? <laughs> Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, yeah. it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. Uh, yeah, nothing uh, yeah. left to do here. <laughs> Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's their loss. Some things are inevitable. It's only a matter of time. Alright, here it is. Uh, seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Nah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although... It is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about <laughs> the special offer they advertise. <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Oh. Then I organized the Wangsheng <laughs> Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations <laughs> willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one get one free for the holder of this tile on them. Buy one get one free. <laughs> uh, what do they yeah. buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. They may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. Bruh. That's the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. <sighs> no wonder you're on the middle of this video. I did not say that. All right, Mung. <laughs> Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? Mm, that's not what it, it is. It is true. Is. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. You're right. It's unfair. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. I already told you we're not your assistants! <laughs> Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. That's how every story quest is. 
Every story quest via the assistant somehow. Investigate the Washington Funeral Parlor surroundings while waiting for Hu Tao. Okay. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! <laughs> We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Her? Tactful? Okay. Let's see the board. All the tiles should be blank. Must be the special offer. Okay, and the other one? Is it inside? Oh, it's on the door. Okay. She's just here. <laughs> That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. <laughs> we want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? I can imagine Huta doing that coffin meme thing. <laughs> That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? But <sighs> yes, director. Poor guy's giving up. Right. We should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We, as in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. <laughs> Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! It creeps people out! <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Ah, lighten up. The way I see it, people <laughs> make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Well, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. The funny side. Huh? I never thought you'd be such a bore. <laughs> never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't Big forget. Big G? What's Big G? Big G? Who's that? Yeah. We've been in Lila for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something Mom's been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Potential client, huh? Uh, sorry. Who are you? Hello. I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? Really? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. 
very often they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Right. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? My friend thinks it's because they're coming yeah. to the director <laughs> of a funeral parlor. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's because you're a director of the funeral parlor saying that. It's like... Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into <laughs> that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Uh, this moves, uh... <laughs> <sighs> Another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Clement's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? Chongzi. I Chongzi. know your face. <laughs> Already knows. Should parlor director I know right i'm sorry i'm really in no need of it don't apologize get to know us we've got a new sale going on ever hear the saying out with the old in with the new well going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side <laughs> if you keep talking like this i'll have to call the millilith no 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 okay relax we're leaving but wangsheng funeral parlor awaits your distinguished patronage <laughs> You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization <laughs> for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Uh-huh. What is it? Me. As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. Oh, so we're not? <laughs> okay, totally different now, okay. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Yeah, if that was stopping for a quick chat, what is business development there? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? I must thought you had some kind of Yeah, that's what I thought. For, uh, <laughs> people in declining health. Or something, yeah. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people, or...? Of course not, but... <laughs> Paimo was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimo wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Uh, well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Okay. I'm still curious about this big G thing. Um, back up. Eh? Mung, I'm back. I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. We've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. That's where we were. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. Okay. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. 
I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill, but recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. Mm. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have uh, hidden among them. Okay. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, sorry, oh? excuse me. Is this Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Lo Chung. I've had this awful feeling oh, recently, like yeah, well, something staring at me. Clue then. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Wow, oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Wong Hill? No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's <laughs> no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistant. I'm going to need your help. Uh, I guess I'll come too. Okay. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Okay, well, we got something. Go to the exorcism site, which is up there. Maybe not that high. Alright, here we go. So, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Hmm? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> They were eradicated ages ago. Then why are we here then? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the yeah, other one believes his friends turned into an something. evil spirit. It's hard okay. to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. <laughs> uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a <laughs> How old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an yeah. ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a 
curse. They believe Do you know the history of the Yaksha? Oh. Yes, I have played Xiao Story, so I know of some of it. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the Ooh. founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real, or it would yeah, incite panic. <laughs> then people be more... Uh, anyway, uh, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This leyline monolith will make for a really great prop. Leyline monolith? Are we gonna defend this thing or something again? <laughs> oh, you're finally here! We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. Right. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. You failed to mention we need to fight, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo. <laughs> But she's serious she about everything she weirdo. does. How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Oh boy, okay. Um, I think that this character is, is fine. Let's just go. To materialize the curse? Yep, it's the thing. Whirling snow! Just keep some of these. Stabilize. Gotcha. I'm counting on you! Here comes the camera. Body? Maybe. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. What is that gonna cost? Da, 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 da. <laughs> You've been pranked. You've been pranked. Really? Uh, uh, what? This exorcism device, people like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's, yeah, it's just, just an old monolith. ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <sighs> so riddle me this, if I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? True. <laughs> well, I didn't think Huta would just actually tell them. Uh, tell them when they feel better. The curse? Wasn't real. Wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. <laughs> I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. <sighs> Don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. 
Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. <laughs> However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Hmm? Uh, um, I didn't mean oh. to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Well, this was during when he was still a child, right? So it makes sense. Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Yeah, he won't grow up. <laughs> Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon yeah. first heard the name Big, Big G. G. <laughs> well, let's bring him back to Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Bring him back. Okay. I'm wondering why ghosts always like got square square is because I'm on a phone, so the graphic isn't that. <laughs> All right. After all that's happened, Paimon's not even sure what's going on anymore. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Uh -huh. uh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that you followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Does this what now we know what caused his nightmares. Yeah, alright, that makes sense. Uh, it is Lingo. <laughs> well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Mung were searching for you all over the place. Oh, well, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? <laughs> Why didn't you just fly? Like any other ghost or spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I... Can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Good thing you didn't call it Tauji. <laughs> I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. <laughs> like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> no, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Wu Mu and Songza. Those three. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual. Then come no. and find us. Okay. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all yeah. together? <laughs> or maybe we but can maybe... take Big G to them. Um, yeah, that's maybe. not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Okay, be careful what you say. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. <laughs> Little Wolfus, okay. 
Now we know what these three people are. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. Not about that. <laughs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar, but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he yeah. tell you about it? Yes. Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or Typical anything. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy chewy yoon chili spicy. chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some chewy yoon chilies. I have a lot. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. You still have to make it. Alright. <laughs> I mean... Chewy yoon chilies are a common sight in the uh, I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. They got 144. This should be enough. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? Yes. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great! See you later! Uh, how did he know about the others? Yeah, actually. <laughs> he didn't say that we're gonna go for the others. That's true, but I just realized. Teleport again. We're going down again. Chongzhe, right down here. Eh? Hey. Not down. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's uh. Mumufus. Mumufus. Uh, not you again. <laughs> I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Come to think of it. I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? Mm -hmm. How did you know? We didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow! Um. You must be, like, super rich! <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for little Wu and Songza next. Yeah, she really met Wu, little Wu. Mm -hmm. We already saw little Wu, now we gotta find Songza! I see. Songza. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet Songza. at the overpass <laughs> at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. I guess the three of them are coming to do this? Um. Oh, Chongzhou's Chong Chong over there now. Don't go up there. Up there. <laughs> right. <sighs> oh, all three of them are here. Huh? You're all here. Reminiscing about old times. 
Thinking back to past events, we've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. Mm -hmm. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artist and Sal lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. <laughs> Be back in a yeah. jiffy. The, the three of them already knows. Let me... Uh... You know, I just yeah. realized. Mine's the only item that's been outright purchased. Yours are both handmade. But yours is worth a lot more. Worth and Mora is not what's important here. These things all played a big part in our childhood. They show that we will never forget our promise. Oh. Okay. Register, no problem. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. Oh, you just take it. <laughs> um, wait. Oh, this. I see. Doesn't seem like they're here. No? Let's look someplace else. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Where else would it be? Up here? Okay. These look like what Sangzo was talking about. Let's head back. Literally, the rock, different color. Okay. Let me just do this again. Quick! <laughs> I'm not gonna go the whole way. Here. Okay. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Monster plus. Okay, structure. there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take. While this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big Chi, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big T is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Ku Tao and the others. Oh, nostalgic dream chili chicken. Yeah. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. <laughs> Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility. And I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. 
and where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> so listen to everything I say. Let's go. Okay. I'm unscared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Good the ordinary this mansion. Ah, enter the border. What? Remember her warning and don't make a fuss. I'm using Huta, right? Because I've never been using her yet. Oh, yes! Former, of course, no bless. This is C3 and 6. Okay, that takes up HP. Okay, then don't do that yet. Increases Huta's attack based on her max HP. You can reach 400% of... Wow. That's a skill. Activation costs 30% of HP. Wow. Okay. So don't do that too much. If Huta's HP is below or equal to 50% when the enemy is hit, both the damage and the HP regen are increased. Okay, so the burst also regens HP. Eh? Reset regens a percentage of Huta's max HP. Based on the number of enemies hit. Ah, okay. Up, oh, I accidentally moved. Damn it! <laughs> oh, this is the ghost animation. <laughs> I think it's faster if I just look from here. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, no. I want to change to Japanese, but I can't. The setting is not here. <laughs> ah, god damn it. Never mind. Okay. Um. God damn. Do I have to burn this? I guess I need to, uh. Yeah. That takes up more HP. <laughs> that pattern looks familiar. Hmm? Pattern? From the right angle. Oh, it is. Ah. Uh, oh, just like last time. There we go. <laughs> go. Dark resurrection, okay. I kinda wanna use the fire But my HP <laughs> Can I get the burst? Yes Okay that did heal a bit <laughs> That's 
flights named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little... Oh, shit. Put it... Pomp and ceremony? Diamond's pretty sure that's not how people put it. That's risky. Hold up. Okay, this is not 30% of the fire, 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 fire. Fire. Yeah. I should have put more buff characters in my... Like maybe Bennett or something. Because only Hu Tao... <laughs> I keep sacrificing HP just to... Good, this stuff. Then I should put someone in. Uh, By the way, I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reaction. On your marks. Oh, shoot. That's what I was afraid of. I <laughs> burned. Okay. Wait, you mean elemental reactions? Oh, I was right. Just now. Oh. There you go. I just, just stand a bit at the back. I struggle so long for that. <laughs> oh, chest. This thing is not activating. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was quite good. Go. That got me some HP. Two doors. I'm so confused because the map doesn't even show where we're actually supposed to go. 
This looks the same. Yeah. But there aren't enough. Oh, so confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. This one here. Go. Oh, spider web. Water. Are we supposed to go down here? Yeah. I don't expect water in a domain uh, like this. What? This is one uh, domain that I didn't expect <laughs> would be like. What is this? I wish I would kill myself. Okay. <laughs> Usually all the domains the music is like but this one is Wong Hill level <laughs> Wong Hill music still Wait are we are we going once Oh this is where we were okay But I didn't get another one Where's the other one then? Did I miss something? Yeah. Huh? Isn't this where we just were before? Yeah. The spider web is back again. Solidify. What does what this mean about? And um, wait. What if? What if I don't put that? Just bring it along. I wonder if you're supposed to go one round with this thing here. If that's if that's the answer. This this one with me better not disappear. What until that is going on? Have we even been moving forward this whole time? It's almost as if we're constantly being sent back to the beginning. Everything we said. Please tell me there's another one. Yeah, everything he says, everything we destroy comes back. Please tell me there's another one. Yes. Okay. We're stuck. The spirits have trapped us. Not quite. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Yeah, see, who thought knows what's going on? folks to cross over. So you set us up? Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? It's okay. I opened it already. I understand. <laughs> Who thousand knows what's going on? Finally! I thought <laughs> we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. Good thing I figured out when we went the second round. Just dive off. Um. Right. Just to make sure. Go. It's water, right? Yeah. Holy shit! We just jumped all the way. <laughs> okay.
What the? Okay, so chest. The farewell so you're excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk excited? amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Nothing special. Oh, what? Nancy, everyone is. Are you clients? Apologies, this is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. Mm. But if you two are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. A chess, good thing I saw that. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to go here. Are you new here? What a coincidence, so am I. I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. Okay. So these are the people. By the way, have you seen Uncle Zhang recently? That guy, I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh, good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. Phew. Oh, yeah? It's the lantern right again. Little memory. Wouldn't it be cool? I guess everyone when they was when they were young. You can make a wish without a lantern, Chong you know. Memory. My mom told me, as long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Big G. Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, and everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I. I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could <laughs> enjoy you and chili chicken every day! That came true. <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. Uh, with true. Mora, you can also, do whatever you want. You got your yeah? wish too. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super the expensive toy box. toy box. Not just one. One for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Mm. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind. And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mom, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? Mm. They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. <laughs> that was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. The last lantern ride. It's wow. been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? Yes. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful businessman. And Tsongza makes great shell lanterns. Really? Wow. <laughs> We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. 
We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. Hmm. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Talk to the tower while the old friends are reminiscing. Can you get that lot here? Yes. Wow! There are even the names of all five of us on it! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, didn't you just say that you release lanterns every year? Do you plan to add more names over the years? Like Little Rose Kids and Mumu's <laughs> wife? Actually, I have some good news. Mumu's soon to be a father. He's been talking about nothing else recently. He's excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> I wonder if such a goofball will make a good father. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd be surprised how sharp-witted he is now. Let me tell you. <laughs> Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, <laughs> yeah. you're the one who needs to learn how to read the Penny. room! Don't you need to guard the border? Your scope for is nothing that I imagined, yep. Really? The end result is the same though. Exactly what I do and how I do it are just minor technicalities. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time. Longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today, neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. Not a chance. Curiosity can be perilous, you know. Don't forget my warning. The less you know, the better. What you make of my words mm. is up to you. I do hope that yeah, most of it flew over this. your heads, <laughs> though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Okay, I see. We live in peaceful times. But this Something harmonious coexistence between life and death <laughs> should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. Okay. Go back to Wuwan here to send Big G off. Every time in the domain, if you get a treasure, you do, they don't see anything. Eh? <laughs> kind of want to hear. Yeah, back here. Oh my gosh. The place where we... I was supposed to do the dang <laughs> bounty. They were damn ruin hunter right behind her tau. <laughs> I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, low. wouldn't you oh, say? Gosh. But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, <laughs> I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true too. Mm -hmm. So you should also mind my warning, Mung. 
If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes you know. <laughs> to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing yeah, him later. Yeah, we'll see you, see you later. Goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. Alright, I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So... What was the wish you two yeah. made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Um, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. Oh. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuong Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. <laughs> uh, aren't you forgetting about something? I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help! <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. <laughs> However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. Uh, yeah, kind of... Kind of suits her though. <laughs> <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. Yeah. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. Any of the previous directors. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them. And left them with no regrets. Oh, okay. And that's the end of Wutao's story. Okay. <laughs> Perfect send off. Okay, that's a lot of Mora. 160,000, nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with 2,000 story quests. Next, I have to do Ito's one. I have to do Ito's one because of the event that's going on. <laughs> So I have to do this quick. Uh, I'll do that maybe tomorrow. We'll see when. I have two, about two weeks left of time for this event. Yeah, I need to do Ito Story Quest before I can do this. Okay, I think this video will be long, but I'll try to cut it because there's some editing I need to do from the stream, which I accidentally. <laughs> Uh, you're wondering why I don't want to do the events on stream? I just don't want to edit. <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> but this one, I guess I have to. Alright guys, that's it for Futao Story Quest. Among is still here. Since I don't plan to ever come back here, I'd like to make the directors right. Perhaps
Perhaps some time away will do me good. A new life awaits. Okay. Yeah. That will be it for Hutan's story quest. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.